News Radio WGNS Murfreesboro. The views and opinions on this show are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of WGNS, its management, other hosts, or advertisers. All right, how are you? Edwin Lee Raymer with you right now. And another, uh, excuse me while I get my headphones here. I can't hear myself, Jax. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Someone must have turned the monitor down. Angela Bingham probably did that just to aggravate me. (laughs) Kelly Northcote, you can see her on your screen there right now. And she's been here all afternoon. Bless her heart. And uh, I think uh, Jackson's thinking about putting her on the payroll, I guess. Has she been here all afternoon? How you doing? Well, now I'll get rich, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, that's that's what happened to me and Jackson. We don't know what to do with all this money. Yeah, you're the mo- <laughs> moneyed elite, I can tell. Yeah. Mm, and that's the reason uh-huh. we got all the Rolls Royces parked out front. <laughs> that's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, yeah. How you doing, young lady? You're running for city council in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I am, and I'm doing great. And just out there, you know, every chance I get, weeknights and weekends, just knocking on doors and talking to people and shaking hands and asking them what their concerns are right um <clears throat> and we're going to talk about some of those concerns too. oh definitely yeah yeah and uh i know you've probably talked about them till you're blue in the face but we'll talk about them just a little bit more and after that we're going to let you go home let you get a good <laughs> night's sleep i'll take one of your rolls royces and just yeah. <laughs> well take jackson's because i'm kind of attached to mine <laughs> I've got that Buick emblem on it, but that's just to, you know, to sort of, I don't like to flaunt it. <laughs> it's very humble of you. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's me, yeah. i tell you what we're going to do. Jackson, we we'll give Kelly full yield of our time. If we can, we're going to kick this thing off right now. But for right now, yes, my name is Evan Lee Raymer, and yes, I'm still a private investigator. Welcome aboard. This is the Edwin Lee Raymer Show with your host, Ed Raymer, on your good neighbor station, News Radio WGNS. And that's a little rock and roll to kick off your 8 o'clock hour here on Sunday night at WGNS, right here. In Murfreesboro, Tennessee, this is Evan Lee Raymer Show, and I'm your host, Ed Raymer, and this show is produced at the studios of WGNS AM 1450, 100.5, 101.9 FM, right here in the heart of the great volunteer state in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Now, you can reach me and Kelly tonight, and you reach Kelly at 615-893-1450. That's 615-893-1450. You can also send us a text to that number, and Jackson will be glad to read it over the air or give it to me or Kelly. We'll read it if you do not wish to be heard on the air live. Some of you, we understand you're a little shy. You don't want to be. Now, how do you find us? First of all, uh, talk to Angela out in the parking lot. I know you were on with her earlier. Yeah. And uh, that was you, a fun show. You lived through. Oh, it's a, that's a fun show. I okay, this it. one's <laughs> not. Okay. <laughs> And uh, uh, tune in. Uh, you can download the WGNS app and take WGNS with you. Go to wherever you go. Listen whenever you wish. And uh, listen in. You know, I listen to Jason Qualls through the week. He's on around 4 o'clock. Uh, financial coaching advice. Mm-hmm. And uh, Angela is here with Simplicity at 6 o'clock every Sunday. And her and the ladies there are doing a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you know, I am biased. I, I love her to death, and uh, we cut and kid up back and forth. And uh, But I have a feeling with uh, the way I greeted them tonight, I'll be getting a little bit more respect around here, Kelly. And uh, <laughs> I, I think you're right. You know how to work You know the way to a man's heart. You know, same is true with a woman, too. It's right through their stomach, you know. You brought us ice cream. Oh, you got to love that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Hey, I had that. You no. Know, I had a friend that owed me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you no, thought no. of us. No, though. I did. That okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the lady said, unfortunately, I got to eat. I got to finish this before getting home because I'm not supposed to have it. <laughs> I said, man, you talk about honesty in radio. <laughs> yeah. How can you reach us tonight? You can see us tonight. Of course, you can reach us 
on the good old-fashioned radio at 1450, 1450 a.m. on your a.m. radio band. That radio is the little square, it's maybe a rectangular device in the <laughs> dash of your car where you can actually tune us in while you're driving down the road or at 100.5 or 101.9 FM. And uh, you can download us right now on WGNSradio.com. Listen live. <coughs> News Radio WGNS on YouTube. We are live. I'm looking at us right now. Bless y'all's hearts having a look at me. So look to the right side of your screen and look at Kelly. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, it's like one guy said, you know, you realize the camera adds 10 pounds. And he said, <laughs> okay, Ed, how many cameras are there on you right now? <laughs> so... <laughs> I've got a lot of friends in this town, in this county. Uh, got a lot of pool here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a number of ways. My wife will listen occasionally. She listens on <clears throat> Alexa. Uh, she'll oh. occasionally watch YouTube Live. We're on Facebook Live. Uh, there's just so many ways to get And if you want to see our, our older programs where Kelly's been on, you can download us at on YouTube. Edwin Lee Raymer. Just type that in. Just type in Edmund Lee Raymer on YouTube and it will pull up. And a lot of the older older shows will come up. Now, mm-hmm. enough of that. Kelly, what's going on in the political realm? Well, there is so much going on. We, there are so many candidates out there running. And we've been we've been knocking doors and uh, talking to people. That That's Run. my favorite part of campaigning. I, I love... I love talking to the people. I, 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 I would love doing it, I think. I've never put mm-hmm. my name on a ballot, and I thank you for doing it. And by the way, thank you for being here tonight. I know you're tired, and it has I'm been fine. hot out there. It's uh, You're approaching 100. You're going to have another week of it. Mm-hmm. But uh, you're doing the work. You're putting it in, and that's that's what it takes. And I'm not you know. doing it alone. You know, it's like I've got a I've got a, a staff that's the backbone of the campaign, and right. they're they're out there in the heat, knocking doors with me. And the mm-hmm. last two weekends, we've had so many people like come out to volunteer with our team. Right. More people, more people than uh, I've seen knocking doors. You know, at one at one time for a campaign. So Who I feel really enthusiastic. Your, is it Chris, is Christian manager? <clears throat> yeah, he's my Christian campaign gay, manager. Christian Christian, yeah. none better. He lives, sleeps, eats, breathes it. He loves it. Mm-hmm. He really does. Yeah. And uh, none better than him. Um, you know, what are you What are you hearing about as you go out from... I mean, first of all, I want to say this. We cannot be remiss in what happened yesterday mm-hmm. in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> yeah. Thank goodness uh, our former president, Donald Trump, is fine. Looks like he's going to be okay. Uh a fireman, a volunteer fireman, lost his life yesterday mm-hmm. because of this. Another person, I believe, was wounded. The shooter was uh, removed. Mm-hmm. I'll put it that way to be kind about it. Billy, we don't have any place in any level of politics for this. There's no sense in this. There isn't, yeah. Uh, violence, is, violence is never a solution, political violence especially. It, 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 it gets in the way of the democratic process. It it it's just an impediment to civil civil life it certainly um, is and and i think that you know it's like we've become so polaroid polarized um and it, it kind of ramps up the 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 rhetoric it ramps up the the feelings the emotions that people have and uh, you know to to resort to that it, it's it's just an extreme that we should never get to shouldn't and, get no not and, at all and i think that we I mean, I've seen people, you know, say that and then blame right. blame the other side. And it's it's something that we we really need to make sure that we we don't we don't express things violently, that we don't have violent words. We don't have violent we manage our violent tendencies that and that we we call people out. It's like it's more than just not yeah, resorting to violence. Know. We're all responsible for ratcheting it down and we all have to look at our own thoughts and words and deeds and examine them and make sure that we we filter out the violent message that we might be sending and for me that's foul language because i can have a foul mouth now Mm. i've done a lot better as i've gotten older especially being around radio 
when you're around a radio station or, as you know, a television station. You used to work at Channel 4, mm-hmm. where she won her Emmy, by the way. Yes. Uh, and But, you know, when you're around the microphone, you've got to always assume that microphone is on. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes what people call foul language is just for emphasis or, you know, just, just expressiveness. Yeah. But uh, violent, violent languages can yeah. be can be different. You know, just even I saying, yeah. saying, you know, somebody deserves something or, ooh, I'd like to, you know, and insert. Yeah, violent, I mean, we've all said that, there. Junior, I'm going to kill you. Boy, if you don't straighten up, I'm going to. Yeah, we've all, you know, mm-hmm. we ingest to our children, you know, right. if you don't straighten up a dam or a hell is one thing but Mm -hmm. you know and but i try to really watch it and especially on facebook i do because i Mm -hmm. post some very uh, i can post some very controversial things well people say the controversial i don't don't think they're controversial i think they're just common sense but they can be interpreted and you can be passionate and you can be committed without resorting to uh you know violent language and without uh, you know, without demonizing or villainizing right. the other side, it's like you can be you mm-hmm. can be passionate and factual and have a statement without without countering it with you know some somebody else is bad or evil or has bad intentions. You can just speak to your own, and and I've always I've always made a point to uh, to make sure to limit my campaigning to being positive to not you know it's like you can state facts about what someone has done and and how you're opposed to that or how you are different than that but never demonizing or villainizing uh, the other side or even even supposing what their what their motivations are right um you know it's like there's it's it's a fine line and i just don't like going negative i just don't like you know presenting things it in won't a, help in a you or anybody way. else you know well, and 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 uh reverend martin luther king said this if you're going to and a lot of people forget this because there was so much civil unrest in the in the 60s he said if you're going to try and advance your cause with violence you're going to lose and, the, and you are ultimately oh you might win a little battle here or there but mm-hmm. ultimately you will lose and you've opened that door um that's and, right and people feel it's like once a violent act has taken place or even violent rhetoric um then people feel justified in returning that same level of violence or more uh, and yeah, so yeah. you know it's kind of like you i gotta one up you Right, yeah. eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth leaves the whole world <coughs> blind and toothless. Right, so exactly the way, right. The way to stop that is to unplug, to not not contribute to that. That's right. Anymore that rhetoric. So, um, okay, yeah, it's never a solution. And you know, but thank goodness it looks like uh, uh, I, I really hate it uh, because I hold a special place for firemen. My brother is a lieutenant fireman at yeah. City of Franklin. I mention it all the time. And, you know, they do a great job. And, you know, here's the thing. When someone calls them, hey, my house is on fire. They say, well, now, are you a Democrat or a Republican? Mm-hmm. They, 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 what you address, you know. Exactly. And, and lots of times they'll know that before the, as the phone rings. They know mm-hmm. where the call's coming from anymore with technology. But uh, that, that's, that's terrible. And another lady, a person, I say a lady, I, I don't know if it was injured. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I'm someone not else sure is either. critically injured as far as uh, the last I read. And, um, and you know, whatever whatever their beliefs, whoever they voted for, it's like that's that's another another American citizen. It's another person. It's another person. It's and our neighbor. They have, exactly. They're our neighbors. They, right. They have family. They have exactly people right. that love them. And it's it's just an extremely sad situation that it is that yeah. that had to happen and even yeah it, it's just okay <clears throat> let's move on to okay. your campaign here you're right. running for city council in murfreesboro right. here you along with four other people i believe uh four? yes four, four other, other people. people yeah the three incumbents um, and another challenge <clears throat> and <clears throat> what are you hearing you say you're talking to a lot of people what 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 are they hollering about or what are they asking about? I say um, hollering. Well, um, one of the biggest concerns people bring up is traffic. Um, uh, another concern is uh, funding our public schools, making sure our public tax dollars stay with our public schools. Um, the 
the decency ordinance that was passed last year is on a topic on the mind of a lot of people and uh, honestly that was the that was the driving force that got me to run for city council um, it was it was misguided it was uh, it was unconstitutional it was mm-hmm. it was it was passed not at the at the bequest of you know a, a vast array of citizens uh, most people didn't didn't think we had a problem and um as a matter of fact it was it was it was kind of passed by uh well what they explained was the result of emails but uh, in the aclu lawsuit that was uh that was uh filed against the city uh all but one of the, the councilman uh mr shacklett didn't vote for it as a matter of fact he i think he warned them that it was unconstitutional um but there there were emails uh several from Robbie Starbuck I don't know if you're familiar with him but he's kind of a mm-hmm. um a conservative instigator um okay and what I've heard from someone very close to the issue that works with um Borough Pride is that a couple of those emails were sent before the Borough Pride event that he was uh complaining about and the um the video that was sent was not even of borough pride it was of another event somewhere else completely right. okay. <clears throat> so it uh, i don't know it, it seemed as if it was um it, it seemed as if there was a different agenda than just listening to constituents sure when i went to speak to the city council when they had open you know uh, um open meeting so that people could come and get on the on the list to speak i was lucky enough to get one of those slots but the room was packed with people trying to convince them not to not to pass that um, ordinance um so so there was clearly you know a lot of people that were that were against it um i was i was scheduled to speak and got up to say my piece to try to get them to uh i don't know find some compromise or find rules that everyone could could heed to Sure. Um, and when I got up to speak, nobody looked up. It was it was it was clear that minds were already made up. Oh yeah, yeah. And that sure. we'll allow you to come speak, but that's but it. We're not going to listen. We're not going to listen. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a lot of that going on. People here, but they're not listening. Yeah. So if if you aren't there to listen to the constituents, because uh, I realized at that point, I had no voice. I had no voice in my city government that everyone else that was there to speak had no voice in their city government either we are hearing so much of this from the federal level right on down to local county government you know yeah it seems that these politicians are just doing whatever they want to i mean here we go again 80 percent of the people want some type of common sense gun control Mm -hmm. you and i've been over this discussion before you and your dad me and my my Mm -hmm. family all of us have guns own guns all that right but you got to use some common sense right and even law enforcement doesn't want permitless carry no (laughs) um no and and i mean it's clear from the numbers that 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 isn't serving our state well i don't think it was an outcry yeah, it was an outcry of people that wanted that, and the same thing with the decency ordinance. So, um, it was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. It's like that impacted me and the community and my family in a very personal way. My son mm-hmm. felt unwanted in his own hometown and moved out of state. So, uh, understood. Yeah, yeah. I I felt very strongly about it. And I will say I this: to I've talked in. to two or three people where their children have. Mm-hmm. One has even left this country. Yeah, that was it's discussed. getting that bad. We're going to yeah. go to our first series breaks. Kelly Northcutt is with us. She's running for Murfreesboro City Council. Jackson is on the board. My name's Ed Reimer. Stay with us more after these good words from our local sponsors. Stay with us. Hello, everyone. It's Ed with Private Investigations in Middle Tennessee. You know, if you just need someone checked out on a background check, tag them a run, or if you need someone full-fledged of follow, give us a call. You can reach me at 615-390-7219. That's 615-390-7219. Or check out our website at piofmt.com. That's piofmt.com. I felt so alone, scared, angry, full of self-pity. 
I just wanted to die, so I took another drink. Then I heard about AA and went to my first meeting. The people there talked about those same feelings. I was no longer alone. They gave me help to stop drinking and hope to start living. Alcoholics Anonymous, it works. Look us up. Check your phone book, newspaper, or aa.org. Hey, this is Ed, everybody. Want to tell you about a sponsor of ours. We've got Complete Yard Care. Their slogan is, we do it all. Low maintenance landscape design, retaining walls, tree removal, stump grinding, lawns cut mulching, landscaping. Now you can reach them at 615-785-0384. Or you can look them up on the web at completeyardcaretn.com. They have a five-star ranking on Google. That's Complete Yard Care. We do it all. Go to J. Mullins Jewelers and check out their collection of reactor watches. They're located at 352 West Murphy Boulevard right here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And also, custom-made jewelry if you want it, they can make it for you. Also, gifts for any and all occasions. Weddings, graduations, family reunions, uh, anniversaries, all of it. That's J. Mullins Jewelers, 352 West Northfield Boulevard, right here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And we are back. Ed Raymer is here with you. Jackson's on the board. Miss Kelly Northcutt's with us. She's running for Murfreesboro City Council. We've got a caller on the line. Caller, please go ahead. Mr. Raymer, how are you? Hey. Well, hello. Is this Jeff? Yeah, how you doing, guys? Uh, doing how good. You how you I, doing, Jeff? Mr. Raymer, I, I ran into somebody uh, running for office this weekend, she, and the person told me that the first day of early voting, they had around close to 750 people voted. Ooh. Right. Our early voting started very, very Friday. 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 Yeah. Friday. I don't know about Saturday. I know a friend of mine voted on when voted Saturday. But he said he has, he has he works a lot during the week and he can't do a lot during the week, so he went in and voted Saturday. Went yeah, I Saturday. told the wife the other night. I said we have got to go vote next week. Want to get this out of the mm-hmm. way while this hot weather's here. Yep. And uh, you don't have to stand in line. Jeff, I'm gonna tell you something. <clears throat> These politicians eating it up. I brought this lady a, a, a you know something for a little treat from Sonic. Man, she just sat down and started just nibbling. You know. <laughs> Barbecue, she wants some dessert. She, right <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, she, she wants some dessert. She don't want that barbecue. You don't give her no barbecue stuff. She, and nothing's better than ice cream on a hot day. Yeah. Right, 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 <laughs> ice cream on a hot day. I mean, that, that thing on Mount Time you get to the studio. You don't worry about the Mount Time you get there. But what I want to say, you guys, you ever talk about the Trump Trump situation? And mm. uh, of course, it's horrible. I mean, yeah. you talk about all the other ones that's happened down through the down through Gabby Giffords and the Scalise. And, mm-hmm. you know, oh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> hit both sides. I mean, yeah. Nancy Pelosi's husband almost oh, yeah. killed. Somebody went in their house almost killed him. Yep. killed him. You know, but, uh, but I, I don't know if you saw here recently the uh, the covenant shoot, you know, in Nashville. Mm-hmm. The uh, judge, judge decided not to uh, release the writings of the of the, uh, of the, of the uh, shooter. Yeah. And, right. And they're they're mm-hmm. in the property of the victim's families now, so they won't be they won't be released from what she wrote and all right. the stuff what she mm-hmm. does and stuff. So that that was a good thing. But uh but now you just and, and now they're blaming people now. They say that well you, you called you called Trump Hitler for three years, so that's somebody it's a nut and that's why like one guy said on our earlier show today that said I'm not surprised it happened when you called Trump Hitler for three such and such years. He yeah. wasn't surprised he thought it would happen, you know. That he's not surprised it did not is, well, I'm thinking, well, when you, when you tell Biden he's too old to be president, you tell him he's too old and he does stuff and he does things he does, I mean, I mean, I mean Trump's not no spring chicken. He's 78. He, he's not 58 or 48 you know, if he was. Yeah. I, I'm glad right. he's okay and everything. But I think there's been a lot of finger pointing on both sides at yeah, how I we think got you're here. Right, Kelly. I the, agree with yeah. that. No, yeah. it, ain't, it ain't just the one. Both sides have, have done it. But I mean, it's just, yeah. it's just the way. It, it, we are we are right now. I'm, I'm hoping he, yeah. like a Biden was on tonight for a few minutes, and he he pretty much nailed. You know, it, it's it's just not acceptable. And, right. And down the <laughs> he had a good little address tonight. The wife and I yeah. watched it before I left. Yeah. One reason I was running late getting up here when I came up to be with Kelly, and uh, but I wanted to watch it. it was only about six or seven minutes, but yeah, I, uh, I, he I, did I a fantastic job. job. And I thought he did a good job too. And then 
when I'm on Fox that we, we, it wasn't good enough that people want to hear from Trump. And well, yeah. Yeah. well, there's going to be f- this, you know, yeah, finger you know, pointing you know. all around to I mean, say how we got here. here. Is. I mean, the point here point is. is this is where we're at and what are we going to do now? Right. Now, and, what are we going to do to do something about it? That, that's the biggest thing. But, yeah. But and, I, I'll just say pe- these people need to get out. And, and I went to the forum Thursday night. It was real good. Yeah. I mean, all the candidates, all the Democrats were there, a couple of Republicans, but and the just incumbents weren't, but it was mm-hmm. real good turnout. And like I said, people just need to get out and vote if if they if, if they if they, if they vote early or vote late, and if they need to get out and vote, I mean, it's yep. really important. I mean, these people fight and die in this country and other yeah. countries to do it. I mean, there's there's countries that I know that I've seen where people get uh, have a little red red mark ink when they go vote. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they fight and die for it. So and we need to, you know, to, to uh, you know. Uh, uh, what you call it, to uh, exercise our rights and go vote. Where, I don't care how you vote, just as long as you vote. Somebody. Yeah, I, I Jeff, encourage everyone you. to thank as well. Guys, Agreed. I enjoy your show, and, and then Lee, happy anniversary again. Take care. Oh, thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. And Jeff, thank you for uh, last week. I appreciate that. Okay, Jeff. Jeff Neal. Anyway, a regular caller here at WGNS mm-hmm. and uh, a good friend of WGNS. He's been a good friend of this broadcast and friend of mine since I since I got here, and I never did know why, but uh, he always was, and I certainly appreciate it. Kelly, what's uh, how do people contact you? I, I always seem to miss that, and let's talk about it right now while we're here. Oh, yeah, uh, you can go to kellynorthcutt.com. That's K-E-L-L-Y and Northcutt with two T's on the end, and that's my website. Mm-hmm. Um, you can there's a link so you can contact me. Email is info at kellynorthcutt.com, so that okay. it's pretty easy to remember. Um, and uh, yes, just send a message if you you know if you want to uh, follow my socials. There's links to them on there, uh, so you sure. can message me sure. social media. Any uh, I'm uh, I'm available out there for anybody to to get a hold of. I appreciate you because when I call, lots of times you'll answer your phone. If you don't, I know you're yeah. either in a meeting or a forum or something. And I yeah. and I appreciate this lady is very accessible, folks. She's not hiding from you, okay? And, and, and yeah, she, and I think that, that that dialogue, you know, that you start with voters, you know, during the campaign, right? Y- you need mm-hmm. to continue that. It's like you have to be you have to be plugged into your constituents. You have to be plugged into the community. True. Um, and uh, you know, it's like I'm uh, I'm trying to remember the term I, uh, that uh, Christian came up with. I'm a I'm a career citizen. You know, it's like I'm, I'm not a I'm not a <laughs> developer. Right. I'm, I'm not yeah. you know coming at it from a, from right. a perspective that uh, the you know, law that that's, or real estate or whatever yeah, the yeah. case so may be. I'm not right. doing this to yeah. you know enrich me or my buddies or it's you know whatever the motivation the or right. or even you know it's like sometimes it's like I think if you have a developer mindset, it's like that old saw that you know when the only tool you have is a hammer everything looks like a nail so that looks like the way to solve every problem yeah, um, right. so i'm coming at it from a citizen perspective yes, i've ma'am. lived here for 26 years uh the city has changed and grown a lot there's still a lot about murfreesboro that i fell in love with when i was going to college here and the reason i moved back here to raise my kids and but we have a lot of challenges we're always we're still growing we've been growing even when you know the economy was worse and lots of other places were struggling it's like people were still moving here and the reasons that they moved here are because this is a good place to live. We've got good schools. We've got the Greenway, thanks to Bart Gordon. Uh, we've got we've got you know great parks and recreation. We've got there's there's just so much that's attractive about here. You know, in 19- but we need to make sure we keep it that way. We were here in 1980s when we came here. Yeah, and uh, back in the last century. <laughs> and. <It was>. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't that make me sound? I'm every. It makes you know, me feel old. You know, back in the last yeah. century, I when I'm remember. <laughs> but rode our you know, buckboard yeah, wagon. Rode our know. rode our buckboard. Yeah. The Ramers <laughs> rode their buckboard. Got all their heels, you know, Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> you come, Mamma sitting in the rocking chair, you know. But anyway, story uh, about a man named Ed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll be enough. Thank you, my Emmy Award-winning friend. Uh, it wasn't for singing you got the name, it was it? Um, <laughs> that was just cruel. <laughs> hey, you know, but uh, it, 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 you know, we got here. I've told the story so many times. Down here in 1980, I was still living at home then, mm-hmm. you know, 
And a few months later, they announced Nissan was going to be built, and man, the rocket took off. Mm-hmm. And we've been going great guns ever since. And we've hit some hip, some dips and nips here and there, you know, yep. and some slips here and there. <laughs> but for the most part, Rutherford County. And then, you know, later, Saturn was announced, mm-hmm. you know, and we became the hub mm-hmm. of, of this. And a lot of good local politicians, and yes, even some on our state level, mm-hmm. were responsible for this, yes. saying, hey, we got a good thing here. We're within... What driving distance to? What was it? Nearly fifty percent of the, the the population, whatever oh, the yeah. figure is. Yeah. People like that, mm-hmm. you know. Now, we've got some now wishing it would slow down and all that, right. and I understand. Yeah. I understand. But, uh, you know, the job you're running for, mm-hmm. you you're going to be hit with this day one. Mm-hmm. And I'm reminded. I was reminded thing as I was coming in, and uh, we live out South Church, going past Indian Hills. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I don't know that this happened there, but it was somewhere. And city council person, whoever it was, man or woman, was called and said, "I have a complaint to file." I said, "Okay," and talked it over and said, "Well, we'll need you'd need to send uh, local police out. No emergency, nothing like that." Mm-hmm. So within a day or two, police went out. And said, you know, yes, ma'am. What we had a thing from your your city councilman mm-hmm. that uh, you, you had a complaint, and we've come to see what it is. Said, well, there are golf balls in my backyard. And he said, ma'am, you live on a golf course. <laughs> Now, this is what you're going to be facing. <laughs> this was the truth. It was the truth. He said, I know, but they're coming in my backyard. I said, ma'am. We will deploy the force field. Yeah. <laughs> on a golf course. I mean, yeah. and, and some people, you know, yeah. and I, I know she was upset. Yes. You know, yeah. but I, so, you'd wonder why did you move there? I mean, mm-hmm. and let's face it, for example, Indian Hills, those houses are not exactly getting, they never have been given those houses away. Oh, you can no. afford to live a lot of places. Yeah. That um, just, and that never made any sense. To me. Uh, uh, yeah. I, it's like living next to the ocean. Uh, there's a lot of sand out there <laughs> in my backyard. No kidding. Yeah, there's an ocean down there, man. Yeah, that would be but, an issue that would yeah cause some consternation. Yeah, that's sure. going to be some of the no-win situations you get into, and, and you know that's going to happen. Yes. You've been around this thing a while. Yeah, and there's, I mean, you know, it's like I'm sure that uh, I won't be able to immediately solve every every problem <laughs> that that's called upon. Yeah. Um, but, but you know, that uh, being available to people, even, you know, even if you get calls like that, it, it's, it's important because everybody needs to, needs to have a voice in their city government. Everyone needs to feel heard. Um, sure. And, Agreed. Yeah. And, uh, you know, right. you can, you can tactfully, you know, address the situation, even if it's something like that. But, um, you know, it's like there there are no small problems you know it's like in no, a city they're, they're, if it's a big problem to them yes it's a problem right and and, and that's not to say i can solve it but if i if i if i listen to you and you know we we can do what we can to address it well I and think that's that's the most you can you can promise somebody but and if you're hearing the same issue over and over then you know that that's something that has to be addressed and sometimes you know some of the most obvious challenges aren't things that have an easy solution you no know, they're not it's no. like a lot some of the issues i've been hearing uh from people are the concern about uh housing costs rising um, I know. about rents yeah. going up and uh, not being able to afford homes because the home prices are going yeah, up. Yeah, what is an <clears throat> affordable house anymore? That we need affordable housing. Okay. Yes. Well, I built houses. I know the the standard. <sighs> and it's a is, lot higher it, now than it was when when Raymer Brothers was building houses. Right. So are, so are people's you know, you know take home pay. But the standard is it shouldn't true. be more than twenty five percent of your income is what you should pay for housing. Okay. Um. I, I think there's a lot of people that are stretching that limit and way past that. Um, and, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And and some of that, um, well, uh, another, <laughs> at, at one of the forums, um, 
I, I believe it was Councilman Wade said you can't just you know you you can't just expect uh, expect to make uh, housing affordable just because you want it. Sure. And, well, of course not. <laughs> that, that's not how the world works. That's not how government works. That's not how the city council works. But the the point is, it won't happen unless you do something about it. Exactly right. So you find you you know search for more creative solutions. You right. search for places that have found a way to you know to answer that that challenge. It's a big challenge. We can't control you know the economy of the nation. We can't control the economy no. of the state. But but the thing is, our unemployment rate is really low. Right. Our wages have been going up. So what we need to make sure is that if there are things we can do to mitigate the rising housing costs, that we can do those and we, we look for those solutions and don't just say we can't do anything about it. Right. We, we can. Mm-hmm. There are zoning things you can do. The, um, I believe it was uh, um, Representative Sparks who asked uh, for a study to find out about the, the, um, the cost influence of uh, impact fees because we recently sure. right. uh, passed oh, yeah. that in the city and I think the county is looking at impact fees and I think the answer he was expecting was that's going to make you know housing costs way too high but the um, I think it was it was Tasser and I'm trying to remember what that stands for I think it's the Tennessee Agency for uh, Intergovernmental Communication I do not know I don't know anyway it's Intergovernmental know Communications yeah it's, it's, right it's, okay. yeah um, so so they did the study and found that in actuality the developmental impact fees only change only make the cost of housing rise like one percent or less okay that's pretty insignificant i mean it, you know it's a lot when you're making your down t- payment it, it mm-hmm. might feel like you know a, a little bit but a one percent cost increase on that sure. on a house is not a make or break um but that there were certain zoning regulations that you could change that would have a much bigger impact on lowering the cost of of housing. Sure. They even offer state programs that we could take advantage of. I'm not sure we're taking advantage of them now. I'm I'm positive we're not. Right. Um, But they they offer uh, things called land banks where they we you collect uh, like unused or um or abandoned properties and then you offer those to developers at zero percent interest right the you know financing buying the land and the financing of mm-hmm. it is in a, is a huge part of a developer's that's, initial uh, investment it's a big that's that's where it starts exactly sure. so if you can offer that you know you have an abandoned lot and we have that and you offer it at zero percent financing and that and with the understanding that they have to build lower cost or middle range housing then or higher density you build a, a couple duplexes or a cottage court which is like smaller little houses that face a court they're they're adorable and it's a nice way to mix in higher density housing into an older established neighborhood but those co- those homes cost less because of the the financing that you've offered the developer so they make more money back because it's higher density and they they don't have to spend as much up front and so what you've done is you've created more affordable housing you've created housing in that middle range for starter homes so people can move out of apartments you've right. created an mm-hmm. opportunity to build like a small apartment complex in in one lot and you increase the number of apartments out there we have like 90 percent occupancy rate in apartments a lot of well i think uh sean wright said we don't want more apartments but we need more apartments if we have 90 percent occupancy right. rate I then see what you're people saying. can yeah. charge yeah. more because it's a supply and demand thing so if we have more supply then they're not going to be able to keep raising your rent as much because sure. there's going to be more options for you and they know that so uh, one way that we can control that is to get creative with that use those state programs that we can we can take advantage of and that helps the developers and it helps the the citizens that live here from getting priced out of their neighborhoods you know and another thing and this happened uh in our neighborhood homes that were being built Mm -hmm. and mom's got a car dad's got a pickup truck that's the size of the parking space Mm -hmm. the concrete space park yeah well, now the kids have gotten older. Yeah, they get driver's and license. And they're driving. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I can take you out there tonight, and there's a number of cars parked on the street. Now, there's a mm-hmm. lot of people that race cane about that. I don't. Yeah. I've never, I mean, because, you know, uh, 
our our lot was big enough. We had plenty of room for the kids to park, no mm -hmm. problem. But there are some people that can't, and I understand. You have code regulations, mm -hmm. and you have all that. You can't take a two bedroom house and have fourteen people living in it. <laughs> you know, and yeah. that's somewhere where where city city government may have to get involved. Mm -hmm. Or your codes and uh, uh, codes inspectors mm -hmm. and say, look, we can't do this, you know. Well, yeah, and if it's if uh, it's uh, yeah. you know multi uh, like a, a larger unit, it's right. like you've got to you've got to provide for parking for that. You're going to well. have to, yeah. right? And <clears throat> yeah. people have to understand mm -hmm. that's part. This you, you yes. know we've all got to play by the rules. Yes, and. That unfortunately, and I don't mean to be the, you know, the stick in the mud, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes there are times that you have to, like you said, there'll be decisions you have to make mm -hmm. that say, you know, I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Smith or whatever, but we're going to have to make this decision and you're going to be, you know, I, I've watched city council meetings, I've watched mm -hmm. county meetings. I've, you know, that's my girl, that's Kelly. Tell them, <laughs> Kelly, and five minutes later, you know, that's, that's, she's just silly. That's the stupidest answer I ever heard in my life. <laughs> yeah. That's politics. That's oh, what yeah. it is. So oh, yeah. You're going to do that. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm going to do you that way, but <laughs> I had a couple. I had one. Um, one uh, city councilman years ago said, and uh, um, oh, I forget his name. It escapes me right now. And I said, well, how's it going? He said, well, well. Said, Ed, I'll tell you, he, he was on the Murfreesboro City Council. Mm -hmm. said, well, you got some people happy and some people mad. I said, yeah. I've cussed you and I've hugged you. I could have hugged your neck all in the same showing, you know. I mean, yeah, I like so. Yeah. It's a, it, I like you to say that just take the you, with you'll never week. agree with everything a politician no. does unless no, no, no. unless you're the politician. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and sometimes not even then. You know, sometimes it's like you, you've got to make decisions based right. on the rules as they exist. And, you know, if you want to change the rules, that's a separate process. Sure. Uh, but, you know, sure. yeah, you've got to you've got to enforce the laws and ordinances or make make a change through the channels that you have. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you're not even going to I'm not even going to agree with the decision that have to be made but to apply them fairly to everyone and to listen to the constituents and you know actually follow the law follow the constitution That's that exactly would be right. a refreshing change yeah, yeah. <laughs> um because that that applies equally to everyone and you can't pick and choose well yeah who and is it not even more true and i've said this many times in state local government county government because you folks don't have the ability to print money <laughs> yeah but yeah you we, must work within certain parameters oh, you must you, yeah you i mean, mean we say, have hey, the, the budget we simply can't afford to do this you know whereas the federal government mm -hmm. start the prices guys yeah you know <laughs> um, <laughs> just something it's not that simple but yeah, you know what i'm saying yeah we're we have uh, the the basic pool of funds that we have and we have it. to make those right. those choices um and right. uh some of that you know you just rely on the priorities of the person that you're voting for and right. my priority will always be the constituents and not an agenda that's passed down by the governor or by, you know, yeah, um, sure. someone else. If, if you're not listening to the constituents, then you're not, you're not doing your job. You're not serving the purpose that you're there for. We're going to go to our last series of breaks when Jackson gets in here. Uh, what's next on your plate? What do you got going this week? I mean... Um um, I, I don't think we have another uh, event set up this week, but we'll be we'll be out knocking on doors um, probably midweek and then on the weekend as well. And if anybody right. wants to come along and join, it's a party atmosphere. It's hot out there, but and we're all in it together. Anyone in the city of Murfreesboro is eligible. To vote. It doesn't make any difference where you live. That's you right. Can, they can vote for you. Now, it's obviously, an my large. wife and I cannot. We're outside in the county. Yeah, and. But if you live in the city, ladies and gentlemen, vote for this lady. It would be a good, it would be a, a feather in your cap, I'm telling you. And I'll be there for you. Yeah. Right. Uh, anyone in the city limits, they're all at large seats. Uh, right. You can vote for up to three, but you don't have to. Uh, if you, right. uh, you know, if there's somebody else that you like and support, you can vote for them. But if you want to just do a one shot vote for me, you can do that. Um, Understood. Uh, so you don't have to vote for all three, especially if you don't know anything about the other candidates. Um, Very good. So it can be just a one shot. And 
early voting started last Friday and it continues through the 27th at any of the, you can vote at any of the early voting locations. Um, and the election is August 1st. That's the big day. And Rutherford County, and that includes, uh, you know, the city of Murfreesboro elections. Uh, you can vote at any of the voting locate polling locations, no matter where you live. So you don't sure. have if you work in Laverne or Smyrna and you want to go, you know, at during lunch, your lunch or break, whatever, yeah. you can do it. My yeah. wife loved it. Yeah, she could go because she worked all the way down in Ingram. She was in Laverne. Yeah. Yeah. she could go at lunch, go vote. Highly encourage early voting, and there are early yes. voting Alan locations. Yes, Alan Farley and his in, people have done a fantastic job mm-hmm. of what they're doing over there. Yeah. it's made it so easy. We're going to go, Kelly, to yeah. our last section of breaks here. Okay. Jax is on the board, and we'll be back with you right after this. You're listening to the Ed Winley Ramos Show, and I'm your host, Ed Ramos. Back with Kelly right after this. Stay with us. Hello, everyone. It's Ed with Private Investigations in Middle Tennessee. You know, if you just need someone checked out on a background check, tag them a run, or if you need someone full of fledged follow, give us a call. You can reach me at 615 390 7219. That's 615 615- 390-7219 or check out our website at piofmt.com That's piofmt.com I felt so alone scared, angry, full of self-pity I just wanted to die so I took another drink Then I heard about AA and went to my first meeting The people there talked about those same feelings I was no longer alone They gave me help to stop drinking and hope to start living. Alcoholics Anonymous, it works. Look us up. Check your phone book, newspaper, or aa.org. Hey, this is Ed, everybody. Want to tell you about a sponsor of ours. We've got Complete Yard Care. Their slogan is, we do it all. Low maintenance landscape design, retaining walls, tree removal, stump grinding, lawns cut mulching, landscaping. Now you can reach them at 615-785-785. 0384. Or you can look them up on the web at completeyardcaretn.com. They have a five star ranking on Google. That's Complete Yard Care. We do it all. Go to J. Mullins Jewelers and check out their collection of reactor watches. They're located at 352 West Murfreesboro Boulevard, right here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And also, custom made jewelry if you want it, they can make it for you. Also, gifts for any and all occasions weddings, graduations, family reunions, uh, anniversaries, all of it. That's J. Muller's Jewelers, 352 West Northfield Boulevard, right here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Thank you, Jackson. Appreciate it. All right. And thanks to all of our sponsors, Complete Yard Care. Thank you. Jay Mullins, Tim, Michelle, all of you out there. Garrick, all of you at Jay Mullins over on Northfield Boulevard. Thank you so much. Longtime sponsor of our broadcast. Uh, just all I can ever say is thanks. Thank you so much, Andy, for agreeing to, to sponsor this broadcast. And, uh, we want to give people, uh, I've always wanted to give people since I started doing these type shows, this broadcast, an alternative, a, a, a reasonable alternative. And ladies and gentlemen, there's no better alternative than the reasonable alternative sitting right here in front of me with Kelly Northcutt. Kelly, thanks again for doing this. Thank you for running. Oh, thank you. Uh, because I, it's yeah. a lot of work. It, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah. That it is. It's a lot of work. It, it yeah. would have been a whole lot easier to just sit home in the cool air and watch Netflix. But I know. Uh, you know, I just, I just kind of felt driven to to make a change. And you know, right. you kind of sit yeah. there and you think somebody ought to do something. And then you know, if nobody else steps up, it's like, well, I guess I got to be that somebody. So I'm, I'm willing to, you know, raise my head up. And uh, sometimes that'll get, you know, it, it, sometimes it gets difficult. Uh, and it's time oh, yeah. consuming and and I expect it will be when I win but I'm willing to do it because I think it needs to be done um, yeah there's there's um, a, another um, like I said the three incumbents are running uh, Bill Shacklett's a reasonable man he's the only person that voted against that decency ordinance that uh, I was, was just going to ask you about uh-huh. that and the books that have been pulled off the, off shelves, the library shelves yeah um, which is totally 
uh, I don't care who's listening, and some of those people on there are my friends. One of them I talked to this afternoon mm-hmm. is totally ludicrous. When you're pulling off uh, the book, uh, 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 well, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, I don't think that was in the recent thing, but yeah, there, that's that's one that is a frequently banned book. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, come on, man. Yeah. You know, we're reading some of these books. From, my wife and I, we're, we're older than y'all are, and when we were kids in school so did we did mm-hmm. this hurt our education or our background or our relationship or something because i don't know if it did no that's a wonderful I book guess we're I, just two messed up people you know <laughs> uh, there, there's a lot of books that that challenge one's critical thinking that make you I think agree. critically and yeah and for that to be threatening to someone i think reveals a lot more about them than it does the book yeah, they, you're not like this person. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, well, it, I, you know, I'm not like... I, thank God there's a lot of people who aren't like me either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you didn't have to agree with that, but I mean... <laughs> but I'm serious. I mean... If we were all you the know, same, that'd be a boring world. I think you know oh, it's like the fact goodness. that we're yeah. that we're yeah. Yeah. a diverse multitude. I think is our strength, right. and I think we need we need civil discourse. We need to be able to disagree and still find the humanity in another person. You know, and if I'm if I'm lucky enough to be elected, I I intend to represent the whole populace of Murfreesboro. That doesn't mean that you had to vote for the same person for president that I did. You don't even have to vote for me. You can be diametrically opposed to me, and I still care that you'll have clean water and garbage pickup and good kids, good schools for your kids. Yeah, I was talking to uh, Kurt Wade, a good friend of ours, on you know, and uh, we were talking, you know. When someone calls, the last thing, you know, you know, hey, are you a Republican or a Democrat? Yeah. It makes no difference. No, no. That's, We're I mean, at it's large. especially true yeah. in a smaller uh, semblance of government, mm-hmm. whether you be a county commissioner or a city councilman. Yeah. We need to be know. answerable to all of them. And, you know, I mean, you know, when we built our house in 97, 98, whenever it was, I think 98, uh, you know, at that time, Murfreesboro, or Rutherford County, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, we were out in the county, had a, uh, they had an impact fee. Mm-hmm. At that time, things mm-hmm. were, were different then. Of course, we all know they've changed. And it was like uh, $1,500 or $2,000. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, you know, we've got to pay it. we got to pay it. Mm-hmm. This is what we pay for being here, you yeah. know. Yeah, because that means, that's, you know, there's going to have to be, you know, roads, there's going to have to be, you know, infrastructure. And yeah. that's not just like water and sewer lines, but infrastructure includes our firefighters and fire stations and police and EMTs. It's like that's part of the infrastructure that I think it gets overlooked a lot when, when uh, you know, all people are yes. talking about is like paving roads and widening them. And it's like it's impressive how much we've spent to do that. But it's yeah. like we, we need to we need to make sure that the 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 people that we hire to keep us safe and to make it a good community to live in so you know when you call that they're going to show up and quickly and you know and be there to serve the community it's like that's part of our infrastructure too and that's part of what those developmental impact fees go towards is to make sure that the infrastructure that is that is part of city government uh, that's our you know first responders that's that's infrastructure well, you know, too. And for me and you, and I guess it's boring for, for some of us that know. But people, yeah, I like how I'll just shut the government down. Okay, well, how did you get here tonight? Yeah, that's that's well, just I drove insane. On, I drove on a road. No mm-hmm. kidding. Who paved that road? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you tell them to shut down the government, the first thing we need to do, we'll need to shut off your lights because that's TVA. Mm-hmm. Brought about by FDR, I might add, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in the New Deal, mm-hmm. which gave us, I think, Social Security. Yes. President Johnson and under Medicare. a Democrat and Madison. He was a Democrat, of course. Mm-hmm. President Johnson gave us Medicare, Medicaid. Mm-hmm. Uh, the list can go on and on under these wonderful people. Yes. Now, I'm getting political interstate, now. But interstate I'm, highways so interstate and highways. state highways. That's certain and local. Under, under President mm-hmm. Eisenhower, mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah. And, uh, you know. I think it was it Mamie or, or Lady Bird that didn't like all the signs out on the interstate. I think it was Lady Bird, wasn't it? Yeah, she had the beautification Johnson, had the project. beautification thing. <laughs> yeah, didn't like all the, the I the gotta sign, agree with her. All yeah. the advertising. Yeah. I, I've got to the point. I think you know maybe maybe I Bird think she had was something. Onto something I think she there. had that. Yeah, yeah because <laughs> now they're digital. 
Mm-hmm. And goodness knows what it costs to put a, a message on one of those. So I'm sure you, <laughs> you may know. Actually, you yeah, actually, it. it's 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 less expensive because you don't have all the production and printing to put it and keep it up for a certain month. So you can change Is it. Right. Yeah. So it changes. You notice it's like there's three or four in the space of the time you uh, drive by. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that means agreed. it's cheaper per right per view. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you don't right. have the production costs. It's just. I wonder, if I put my, I wonder if I put my face on that thing, more people would tune in. Wouldn't well, that be it, great? It, it could, could work cause accidents. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we want to address the traffic yeah, I mean, problems, yeah, Ed. What, we a, don't... what a good-looking man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I had a girl tell me the, the other day, I told her, said, you must be, said, uh, you, uh, she said, you remind me of my grandfather. Okay, it couldn't just be your dad. Yeah, it had yeah. To be your grandfather. E- I'm sure that so was because a, you remember a hit to the ego. I said, why is that? So we, well, you talk like him, but you look a lot like him. I said, he must be an incredibly handsome man. <laughs> and she just giggled and chuckled and laughed and walked off. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> was that a confirmation? Was I don't it? know. I, you, you know. can just think whatever you want to think since she didn't answer. No, you cannot think what you want to think. I want you to think what I think. <laughs> Oh, man. You sound wait. like you're in politics. <laughs> no, that's... Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> trust me. Yeah, yeah, really. Trust me. Oh, see, that's... Yeah, that, oh, that's something you don't want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think at times democracy can be messy? Oh, I think it's it's messy by design. Yeah. You know, oh, no. uh, just having one person make every decision, that's clean and neat and, you know, structured. But know. democracy, when you got to get input from everybody mm-hmm. and you have to have some kind of consensus and you have to get in a majority of people to agree and you have to make a compromise, that that's hard. It's work. That I mean, but it, it's worthwhile work. You know, it's right. like you can't you can't, you know, grow, uh, grow tomatoes without digging some dirt. It's worth what you put into it. Well, you can't, as my good friend Jack Nicholson always said, you know, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. There you go. <laughs> that was pretty We're good. We're going to get out of here in a couple of minutes. Uh, you know, uh, Kelly, I wish you the very best. Early Thank voting you. has started. Mm-hmm. Uh, August 1st, is that on a Thursday? I or believe a it is, which is yeah, a weird I day for an election. Yeah, yeah, but it's and, on a Thursday. Well, I, hopefully, well, then it will cool off a little bit. I'm not <laughs> counting on it. It's the first of August. I know it's yeah. the first of August, July, and <laughs> August, and even September anymore here uh-huh. is uh, pretty hot. So in the, make in a plan. Tennessee. Go vote early. You can <laughs> right. be in and out. It's like five minutes, and that's the time it takes to park too. Believe so me. Make make a plan. Go early. Take your friends with you. This last uh, Friday, the first day of early voting, we met a whole bunch of people at City Cafe. Had some good biscuits and gravy, and then yeah. we all walked over and and did uh, early voting on the first day so you know make it make it a fun thing you can just yeah, like get you know, together I would with say folks. something else if you can take your kids with you yes i show always them did what that. this process is all about yeah show you know. them that it's important to you that's exactly yeah. right and model that behavior and it's it'll be important. it's a couple of minutes till we're going to get out of here tell them how to get a hold of you and we're going to be gone going to move out and make room for our next operation that's coming all right uh, kelly com. that's my website there's uh, it links to my social media you can message me you can send me an email info at kelly northcut um just yeah let me know and if you want to help us knock doors i would love to have you join us i'll i'll even give you cold water so you know you'll okay. be out there because you know I, I don't know a lot of rich folks but you know with some elbow grease and sweat we're making it making it happen i'm seeing your signs i love you to death good luck to you whatever you, you need Ed. i'm a phone call away jackson thank you good job on the board and from wgns this is ed Raymer for the ed Winley Raymer show and I'll tell you what, till next Sunday at 8 o'clock, I'll catch you down the road. Take care. Now, here's your Rutherford weather forecast.